Hello and welcome back to EverQuest. Today we are playing our solo self-found shaman. We uh, hit level 11 last episode and we just got here in the uh, arrived in uh, Blake Raft here. And we killed uh, two of these Aviox, or Aviax, however you want to say that. And uh, we're going to continue leveling here for probably till the, about level 15 or so. So let's go ahead and pull one while we're uh, chatting. Alright, so there's one that spawns there, and then the other one that spawns up there. So I don't, I still don't know if these things are social or not. I, they, uh, they assist each other when you pull more than one. Uh, I don't really want to find out. But there is a zone line right over there. The, uh, it's the arena. It's the PvP zone. So we do have a fallback if, uh, if things do, do go awry. All right. So he respawned. I, I made this video pretty much right after ending the other one. Just so uh, I could continue the momentum that I, uh, I've been enjoying with this game. There are defenses going off. We got double dot on this guy. Life is good. I, don't, I think we can skip the slow for now it doesn't really do that much it's like maybe 15 percent slow it doesn't last very long cost 20 mana so might be able to skip it for the time being harder ones we're probably gonna have to slow them and root them so that's something i'll we'll have to worry about later wow every single one of these is dropping an axe that is interesting I think I can get one more in before we need to med up. I don't think we need to buff up anything. Alright, we're completely out of mana. Oh, he's like melting. He's hitting hard. He's hitting for 20, so he's a little bit lower level than the other ones. But yeah, it's been uh, quite the uh, quite the adventure so far. I'm hoping uh, hoping it stays stays pretty good. <laughs> what is this? One gold. One, what did he drop? Eight silver. Three gold. Okay. So we're gonna make a little bit of money here. Uh, we've made like nine gold so far. So. We should get enough money that we can uh, start crafting our own banded armor. Hopefully, that is uh, something that we that we do <laughs> soon. I want to get my armor up as high as possible, and then I want to be able to craft the the uh, totomic armor around level thirty. I'm gonna try to rush that as much as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, I, so I was. I was like, I think last episode, I was like, when was, uh, when was, uh, EverQuest released? And it was like March 1999. And then I started, I was like, well, when was Kunark released? And that was April 2000. It's like less, almost, you know, just, just about a year between release and Kunark. And then from April t to December, they released Velos. <laughs> And then, uh, so, you know, it's like six months later, they were at least fellows, like, the two best expansions are less than six months apart. And then it was a whole year later that they released uh, Shadows of Lu Lu Luslin, Luslin, or however you want to say that. And then another year for Planes of Power. So that was pretty interesting. I didn't, I didn't re realize that. And then, uh, and then I, while I was meeting, I was trying to figure out what game I was playing in 2004 because I didn't play Omens of War and I was trying to figure out what version of WoW was out if I was playing that or not and I 
found this wiki page for uh I drag it over here? Yeah. Or medding anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh so I was trying to find out what game I was playing. And uh just going through this, like EverQuest 2, I never played that. Uh what else? I think I played World of Warcraft during this time. Yeah, here's World of Warcraft. Is there another? There we go, World of Warcraft. November 23rd. I guess the original came out in 2004. Is that true? Uh, uh where is the release date? So Burning Crusade was in 2007, uh, I remember that. Where's the, is it 2004? November? At least 2004, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so. That's why I never played Omens of War, because I was playing World of Warcraft Classic. When it was classic. Okay, makes sense. Pretty interesting, honestly. Is there anything else that came out in 2004? Can't imagine I didn't do anything else. Uh, so I, I didn't play anything after Planes of Power in uh, EverQuest. But I don't see. There's this. But I didn't play Miss 10 or whatever that is. I didn't play that. Fable. Xbox. I might have played Fate, had an Xbox and played on that during the first part of that. Doom 3. I remember buying that, but it wasn't as fun as the original Doom. Yeah, it's like a trip down memory lane, looking at some of these. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Gates of Discord was February 9. Yeah. Totally, uh, lost time, honestly. Alright, we're full. Let's go ahead and, uh, grab another one. Alright, he's up. Let's grab him. So it looks like we can kill three of them before we spawn. I think that's about what we're we're looking at now. And uh, we are about 50% into level two, so that's six. Well, this will make six, so just over 50% of the level, six of them. So I'm going to probably look at that experience. Uh, Experience rate and see if I can tweak that a little bit. Feels a little too fast for what I was doing before. There might be, uh, he might get more experience just for being solo. I think I've soloed any characters on this, uh, on this playthrough. server. Oh, we lost Spirit of Wolf. Alright, we're gonna have to rebuff after this. Ooh, he's hitting hard. Alright, let's go ahead and burst burn him down real quick, since we're gonna have to... Does he resist cold spells? No, I hit him for full. gold. Okay. So let's uh, turn that off. Alrighty. Full mana. Gotta love it. Alright, let's get this bird. Could just <laughs> dot them all and run around in circles at this point. Alright, let's get this guy going.
think we might be able to skip second on the next one, see how that goes. Looks like a, affliction is the only thing we need really. Yeah. Uh, that one didn't respawn. Alright, so that's the zone, just in case we aggro that big guy up top. Oh, he's an even. Oh, that's interesting. Now let's double dot him, just because he's even. He's going to hit harder, too. No, don't frost repeat. Slow. I want to get a slow on this guy. That's not happening, though. Else frost rift him. I think we got him. No big issue on this guy. Oh, he's hitting like 26. Ouch. Ah, oh, we could just let him dot himself up. One gold. And. <laughs> the life of a shaman. Med. Kill something, med. Kill something, med. up. Go ahead and uh, just do one tainted breath and see how that goes. That takes like 25% mana, jeez. See how uh, how we end up at the end of this um, hit point wise. Just tanking him down with one tainted breath. Pretty hard at 24. I don't think uh, skeletons and zombies were not even close to 24. Alright, level 12. Now we got a rusty axe. So, let's drive 1 to 12. I guess it's not smart enough to see. Alright, 14 for that one. 13 for that one. Root is one of them. So let's go ahead and put root on our bar. Where, where are we going to put it? Let's get rid of the cures. We don't need those. So we have Affliction, that was 19, Endure Poison, Shrink is 15 I believe, yeah, and the new Nuke is 14. Oh, we got Cripple, but we don't need to cast that, it's a waste of mana, pretty much, and let's go put Spirit of Wolf. Bar normally, just in case we lose it and we eat it real quick. Alright. We're already full mana. I guess we were full mana after the kill anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this guy. One tainted breath. Let's see. It's gonna drop pretty quick. Let's see how much mana root costs. That might be, that might be efficient. So, it's like 10% mana for root, give or take. We do lose out on the melee damage, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Yeah, 
Because we killed him. And one, uh... One spell. And we can go kill another one. So I think that might work out. So Tainted Breath him. We'll just get him up here. Root him and see where this goes. Uh, we should probably put root with the hotkey button. There we go. Uh, let's put root on... Slam over here for now. So it looks like this one had a little bit more hit points. Because Change of Breath is going to wear off before it does enough to kill him. Yeah. So let's go ahead and nuke him down. Wow. Resist this uh, frost nuke pretty, pretty well. All right, so let's do sicken and tainted breath on the next one. See how that goes. So what I move those two to? on him and then once he gets a little closer we'll root him oh and we ran out of mana oh that sucks uh, so it takes more than 10% mana to root That was way more than enough damage to kill at that time. Alright, that's interesting. So, so let's say 25%, maybe 35% mana per kill with a root and uh, two dots, maybe one dot. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to play with that. We're not going to get any plus wisdom here for a while, as far as I, I can tell. So, <laughs> we have very limited mana. Okay, which one? Okay, the first one respawns, so let's go ahead and grab him. I forgot to change the episode two. Yeah, let's go root him here. Alright, 65 for those. This one seems to have slightly less hit points than the other one. This one tainted breath may take him down. No, it won't. Uh, let's do... Do a sicken. And then reroot him. Ah, failed. Alright. Back to beating him with a stick. <laughs> Alright. I guess we broke the root when we nuked it with the uh, sicken. He must have been a higher level one if he's drunk with a rusty axe. That's the. No, that's the shit, shitty one, so. Where's the good one? Bronze axe. Yeah. Alright, we should be able to kill this guy. So we're gonna do. Affliction, or tainted breath, and sicken right away. Then root. And 
and room right about here. So that's uh, 21 damage a tick for those two spells. That looks like that is gonna... Yep, got him. And there's one down here. Let's see if we can get him. So 11% mana, probably not enough to cast uh, Rod, so let's go ahead and do, uh, just do melee on this one. So it's like, I think we killed two so far, and this is the third. See what we got up. Those guys are not up. He's not up. Probably grab this guy over here. So we'll do uh, tainted breath and then run. <laughs> run, run, run. I think we can get a sicken on him. Probably worth it. melee him since he's gonna die pretty quick with both dots on him. Yeah, he's uh he's taking some it, the I guess the scale this those level range that available of these guys is uh like 8 to 12, maybe? We had one that was even con. So 8 to 12, that's not a terrible range, but that's a lot of hit A lot of difference in hit points. Uh, definitely. Alright, I think we can get this guy. Did the same thing on him. Sickens probably. Oh wow. I just realized that he resisted uh, tainted breath. There we go. Yeah, this guy must be a higher level one. So we're getting our channeling up and our conjuration. I think we're gonna specialize in alteration though. I think anything else would be foolish. This guy, come on, die. And <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> Uh, it's like 1 a.m. Yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. now. Well, 12.30. And, uh, I'm just getting a little tired. So, I'm gonna call it here. We, uh, so we got to level 12. We started, I believe, at level 11. So, we're almost 13. So, we're doing pretty good. Uh, in between episodes, I'm gonna double check the experience rate and see if, uh, see if there's some like double multiplication going on to make it a little bit faster than I'd like it to be right now. Uh, but we're probably going to be here for two or three more levels. Uh, maybe more. Depending on if we can get these guys blue. <laughs> uh, before these guys turn completely uh, gray. So that's an interesting uh, thing to do, but 
I'm just gonna go ahead and camp out right here. I don't, I don't feel like going to sell right now. We uh, st could still loot a few more of these axes, and I'll probably destroy the crappy ones that aren't worth anything. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and have a great day.